fun. Now, granted, we had plenty of good football tonight, and, and, and the Burns-Shelby game would not have upstaged South Point Forest View, no doubt about it. This was without question the game inside this part of the western Piedmont on the other side of the river that was worth coming to. And obviously because F- football Friday night was here, that tells you about all that you need to know with that one. It was a good football game, as an exciting football game. But Carson, we, we did a little show prep prior to the game starting. We talked about how Cedric Mackey now has gone over the 1,000-yard mark. Tyler Bray was the only guy, if I'm not mistaken, Tyler Bray was the only guy in the Gazette area that was already over 1,000 yards rushing on the year. I'm trying to peruse these stats, make sure that that's absolutely correct. And let's see. Yep, yep, that's that's right. Tyler Bray, uh, over 1,000 yards going into this game, and he didn't disappoint tonight either. He had 150 yards rushing. However... DeAndre King had 106 tonight. That now takes him to 793 yards on the year. Now, granted, he's not at 1,000 right now. In fact, he's not even at 800. But his numbers are going to add into something here in just a moment that I think is a staggering, staggering number. The offensive star of the night for South Point, arguably, was Tyler Bray because of his five touchdowns. However... The person that I was so impressed with tonight for South Point and how he handled the triple option offense for South Point and how he was able to manage himself in a way to where he was extremely elusive tonight. And I'm talking about Dewan Brooks. This kid was special, special, special tonight. He was, he was controlling the game. And he had Forest View for most of the night, guessing considerably. Plus, Carson, this kid is just so ultra quick. He's so elusive. And he just, I, look, I've seen him a few times this year already. He, unfortunately, I didn't get to see the second half against Ashbrook. And I hear that he was really good in the second half against Ashbrook. This kid was special from the word go tonight. And he proved it by going 205 yards tonight rushing. He went over 1,000 yards. He's sitting at 1,084. He's 103 yards behind Tyler Bray on the season. However, if you take a look at Tyler Bray's numbers, 1,187 yards, Dewan Brooks at 1,084, and DeAndre King at 793, these guys all told these three running backs have amassed over 3,000 yards rushing, or yes, 3,000 yards rushing offense in so far this season, and it's only week nine. Those numbers are absolutely staggering the way these guys go about this business of, of doing what it is that they do. Conceivably, Carson, conceivably, intern Bethany, if DeAndre King played for anybody else, within this area, he could conceivably be the team's leading rusher, quite possibly the area's second leading rusher, because he would get more touches, he would get more meaningful touches. He would essentially be what carry on more is to Hunter Huss. Is that unfair, Carson? I I I think that's extraordinarily fair. Now, granted, the burden that's on carry on more is vast. This kid essentially, especially with Andrew Jordan being out in the short term, he has essentially carried the offense on his back for Hunter Huss. DeAndre King would likely be carrying that same load for any other team in this area outside of South Point. And DeAndre King gets lost in the shuffle. Now, the coaching staff is not going to lose track of DeAndre King. I get that. This kid's a good running back, and he proved it tonight. A very workman like 106 yards. I don't know how many touches he had. I think I saw that he had at least one. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that he had at least one. Um, but he gets overshadowed by what Brooks and Bray do night in and night out. And it's no slight Andre Andre King. I mean, Dewan Brooks was the best player on the field tonight. I know that Tyler Bray had five touches, and I understand that he was just a workhorse. 
so much of what was done was predicated off of what Dewan Brooks did this evening in regards to leading the charge on that South Point offense. And Tyler Bray was certainly the recipient because not only did he have four rushing touchdowns, correct me if I'm wrong, Carson, four rushing touchdowns, but he, and on top of that, had a kickoff return touchdown, I believe it was. Was it the 98-yard one that they were talking about during the game this evening? I was in transit from Forest View, and unfortunately the, the, the signal isn't always best going down, um, going down South New Hope Road once you get beyond tea time. But anyway, just an unbelievable type of number this evening for those three running backs, and, and what they've done the entire season has just been unbelievable. Think about that. Nine games... These three running backs combined, and that's not even the sum of the offense, but just those three running backs alone amass over 3,000 yards already this season. That's an amazing number, and it's no wonder why this team is second in its respective poll and 9-0 and on the year and likely going to run the table on the rest of the conference. She'll pick that up here in just a minute, and when she does that, we'll come back to our commercial break we're going to get Carson Dockery in here for his three and out segment, and we're going to close it up as there was essentially three games within the Big South Conference. We've talked about them a little bit, but one game of note, and that was South Point's 49-34 win over Forest View at Forest View this evening. When we come back, we'll have Dar- Carson Dockery in for the three and out segment on the Gaston Gazette WGNC postgame show, driven proudly by Tyndall Ford Subaru here in Gastonia. <laughs> 